For final exam, each of you need to post rigged skin model and combine animation plus separate file for walk, run, idle, jump and that animation. You can choose cat rig or you can choose biped. It's up to you. Now, when you create folder, make sure you name your folder, your ID, name, final exam. Inside of the folder, you need to have your character with combined animation and all the files, clip or biped, depends which one you want to use. Your final character should include all the mixed files. So jump, walk, run final, idle, and of course that animation. Before you start mixing your animation, clean them up and name the layers. So for example, here I have a simple run cycle. And I adjusted run cycle so it fits my character. So when I'm ready to save it, okay, I want to clean it because I have one cut motion layer and one adjustment layer. What I do, I want to collapse all the layers. And now I have this new layer and I don't need those other layers so I can remove them. Okay, and I have a both animation on one layer. Okay, so I can select it and name it. Okay. And then I can hit enter and then I can save my animation. And click save. Yes. And how many frames? I can set up those ones. And click save. And you do this for every single file. So here I have a next one. It's a jump. It's only one layer. So I don't need to do anything. But I'll change the name. And again, save it. Start and end, and click save. And you do the same thing for your dead animation, for walk, and for run animation. After you finish saving all your file into clips, open your final character with skin without any animation on it. So select the base and load your first animation. Order doesn't matter, whatever works for you. So I click jump, open, transform data, load. To preview the animation, I need to click unbutton. And those weird things will happen, so just so just move the slider on timeline and you'll be fine. So we have our first animation and our first animation ends keyframe 70. So I step a few frames away and I'll load my second animation. And this thing will be different for your animations. 
Salute next one. So let's start with something simple like a walk. Open. Transform. And I want this to start on 74. Load. Again, weird things happen, so just move a bit. And now I need to turn off and on this keyframe. So this starts on 74, so I go frame or two away. Turn the auto key. And I need to animate global weights. So I put 0. And on 74, it's on. So jump. And now my character walking. Again, I select my character and my walk ends on 114. So I'll skip a few frames and load my next animation. So again, open and I'll take run, click open, transform, enter my desired keyframe. So mine's 120. Click load. Again, move it away, frame or two. And turn off global weight. And now it's running. So jumping, walking, and running. So next. I want to skip to the next animation. So this one ends on 140. Again, I'll leave some space. Select, load next one. And uh, next will be idle. Open. Transform. And 148. And click load. Again, move frame or two away. And keyframe global weight to zero. Again, move it. And you have uh, your character. So now I need to add one more animation. So again, I'll skip a few frames, leave some space for adjustment, select the base, and I'll load my animation. So open, that open, scale, transform data to current. And I'll start on 280 and click load. I can move it a little bit. So I think I need more space here. So I need to resize my. Okay. Now it's. Okay. And there we go. 